Alright guys, the last time you saw this gun, put a decock it there for you. The last time you saw this gun, uh, it was plain Jane as they come P6 military surplus gun. Um, we had a couple things done to it, but the one we're going to go over today is the uh, CCR refinish. This is the uh, CP2, the electroless nickel boron finish, which I really like. I have a few other guns that have been done in this finish. I'll bring them out throughout the review. But um, we'll go ahead and take a few more shots here just because I like shooting. And uh, after that, we're going to go ahead and take the slide off, break it down, look at the kind of work that they did over there on this gun, just so you guys know what to expect if you uh, are looking for, for a way to refinish your slide on some of your old beat-up uh, surplus guns or even, even new guns that you're looking to give a different look to. But anyway, keep putting a few rounds through it, and then we'll take it apart for you. Go ahead and take the gun apart here, show you guys what it looks like inside and out here, that that plating. Um, I've had four guns so far done with the uh, CP2, as they call it, electroless nickel plating. And so far I've been really happy with all of them. Um, they do good work up there at TCR. But, um, so that's what it looks like on the inside. You can see the entire inside's done of the slide, with the exception of the block back here. Um, and they actually do refinish that block um, when they when they do this slide that I don't know what finish it is they offer several different finishes in addition to the CP2 but they did refinish that as well for no extra charge there um, so as you can see they do the inside and out um, just a few notes on it it's a uh, electroless nickel boron coating for those of you guys who um, have never heard of that it's kind of like uh, if you've ever heard of Nibix or fail zero coating it's it's the same stuff um, it's excellent excellent uh, coating it's, it's as far as I I know with the four guns I have it's, uh, it's probably the most durable finish I've seen yet. Stuff's uh, damn near indestructible, if you will. I'll put up a, uh, a picture here next that'll show, just in terms of uh, corrosion protection, the kind of uh, protection you get from this versus other types of finishes. That picture there illustrates how well it does in the salt spray testing, but in real life, I can tell you uh, it holds up extremely well. This this gun here is the uh, MMP 45 Compact. I don't think you guys have seen this here on the channel yet, but um, this was my main carry gun for a lot of years. Um, it's been through a lot of holster draws, things like that. And in real world testing, I'm telling you, this stuff holds up extremely well. They have sales all the time too. If you watch like the forums I know over on Sig Forum and Glock Talk, they advertise um, they advertise their sales. And generally, if you watch them. You can get your slide refinished for 75 bucks in this stuff. And if you have an old gun, like a surplus gun, like the P6 you saw earlier in the video, I mean, for 75 bucks, you can come out looking like a new gun. They don't just do slides, though. They do frames and parts and all that stuff. They also do rifle parts, shotgun parts. I don't have any of those done, so I can't speak to that. Um, but they do all that stuff. Just beware if you're shipping a, a handgun slide or a rifle. Um, you have to go through an FFL for that, obviously. But if you're just doing parts of the slide, you can just ship it UPS, so you, uh, USPS, excuse me, so you don't have to worry about that. But all in all, guys, it's a good finish. They do good work up there. Brad and Mary, they seem to be pretty solid people, easy to work with. They always respond to you. But um, that's about it, guys. Just want to do a quick review on the finish and the service they provide, as well as the cost and value. I mean, I think it's a pretty good value for what you get. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.